now I'm a little masculine and a little feminine. Hmm. I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm a woman that like women. That's all that matters to me. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter. I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad is your Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Bobs, where there's a whole lot of great bobs going on, big period. And today's video is a reaction video, but you already knew that. And if it ain't the lit, it's about to be the realest. Today's video, you guys, I will be doing a reaction from Amber's Closet YouTube channel. And this video is called Masculine and Feminine Energy. I don't know what this video is going to be about. I can only imagine it's going to be about masculine and feminine energy. Now, I decided to react to this video because I found myself liking like a balance of both. I do not like when my woman is too masculine. Please, why are you sagging? Like a little sag is cute, but boxes showing out your jeans jeans to the middle of your thigh look like a nigga from the 2000s yeah no and then like i like my woman to also have some feminine in her but not too feminine you know because like not like a hundred percent feminine women like me i'm feminine i'm feminine do i consider myself 100 percent feminine no because I feel like 100% feminine is like wig, makeup, eyelashes, foundation, highlight, couture, Chanel bags, Birkin bags. Now I'm just playing. Not the Chanel bags and Birkin bags, but you get what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, um, Amber Closet always, 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 you know give me great vibes not only that her content is very mature and very lit and she opens up conversations that i want to have so before we get into this video please make sure you are subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below share this video and make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications i got me a little chicken caesar salad and i wanted some crunch so i added some tortilla chips i also got me some tor tortilla chips and i got me some hot salsa I probably won't get into that this video, but it's there. And I got me some what the? Oh, and I got me a waist trainer on y'all. Hold on. Did did you see that? I, I don't even I don't even think you were prepared. Yeah. So I decided that if I'm gonna be small, I'm gonna be small with curves. Please, why is my hand ashy? I don't know. Where's the lotion? Excuse me. No. You not on play. I don't like that shit. I don't know why people think that ashy hands is acceptable but it's never been acceptable like they should ban ash ash should not be tolerated in the toleration of generations that is not cute what i was gonna say is don't pay attention to my broke nail because my nails getting done in 48 hours yeah 48 hours my hands is gonna get done and i'm i don't know what color to get but i gotta go spring Anywho, look at this body that's going to be formed and snatched. And yes, this is my ass, okay? I know I got on sweatpants, but if I make it tight, that's my ass, pull. So my body about to be looking real hourglass, ass, toned as fuck, like, okay? Now, back to the video. Let's get it. I thought about this video because I've gotten a lot of people telling me lately that they see me as feminine. And I was like, what? No, not Amber. What's up, you guys? It's your girl Amber, and today I want to talk about masculine and feminine energies. And I know that I did a masculine of center video, and everybody brings that up a lot. And I know I still need to do a feminine of center, but I will soon. I thought about this video because I've gotten a lot of people telling me lately that they see me as feminine. And I was like, what? And I think because of the last year or so that I've been dating, I've actually dated some women that usually date feminine women. And then I mentioned this to them and they're just like, no, you're feminine to me. You just dress in tomboy clothes. Hold on, what? So I went ahead and asked some of my friends that happen to be all feminine and all of them were like, yeah, your aura is so soft and inviting. And I was like, okay. Okay, so I get it. I get what she was going. She may have feminine ways, but she's not like feminine i feel like what makes someone feminine 
it's definitely the outside and the inside like if it's just your inside then you have feminine ways if it's just your outside then you have full battery tomboy tomboy ish ways or maybe it's the other way around if it's the feminine on the inside then you're obviously masculine on the outside so you have tomboyish ways if you're feminine on the outside but masculine on the inside then you just have feminine ways so i get it but to just blatantly just say she's feminine no for anybody but women I want to drop a statistic on you real quick because I feel for my women right now in the US women's jobs are being impacted by COVID-19 more than men in Period. April the unemployment rate for men was 13% but the unemployment rate for women was 15.5% and on average women are spending 15 more hours a week on house duties work duties and child care than men talk are. about so it women I'm sending you so much love light and strength right now but let's talk about these energies baby now let me start out by saying that I I found out that masculine energy is doing energy and okay. feminine energy is being energy. Pause. My sister says she trapped in the closet. The fuck? My sister is not gay. I, my sister take care of elderly people. I know this is off topic. But one of her clients got her stuck in the closet. I mean, this bitch need to send me her location because um I ain't trying to hurt nobody grandma but I hurt somebody grandma. I ain't gonna do nothing but just take your cane away and all you gonna you ain't gonna you just gonna be stuck. You just gonna be stuck. I'm gonna take your cane, take your walk, and you just gonna be stuck. You can't move. Now if you actually need it to stand, I'm gonna sit your ass down and then I'm gonna put your cane on the other side of the room. Don't be trapping my sister in the closet. This bitch don't even have an iPhone. How she gonna send me her location? So let me talk okay. about some of the traits of both. Now, feminine energy are things like connection, empathy, nurturing, mm -hmm. and emoting. Mm -hmm. Meaning, you're connected to your emotions. Mm -hmm. And some traits of masculine energy are strength, courage, independence, leadership, and assertiveness. Now, like I said, it's all about finding a balance. Because for me, when I found a balance between my... Let me find out I'm a little masculine and a little feminine. Mm, I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm a woman that like women. That's all that matters to me. Assertiveness and my ambitious side of my masculineness and then mixed it with my soft and subtleness of feminine. It's really when I found myself and I was confident in myself. What I found out is that my feminine side, my feminine energy is more digestible to people. I asked some of my guy friends about it and they're just like, yeah, yeah, I see how people look at you because sometimes dudes can look at you and how you're dressed and then just be like, oh yeah, that's competition. But you come off more subtle to people and they're not as aggressive with you. And I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So then I went and asked some of my friends and at that moment I realized that majority of my friends are femmes or very feminine women so I asked them what they think about my energy and they're just like yeah like we know you you but you definitely come off as feminine energy but one thing I realized is that for some reason I'm more comfortable around feminine energy deep down inside I am someone that's just really connected to my emotions I'm really caring and I just love people I'm always trying to nurture so all right I'm embracing that so something that I was reading says your masculine side gets expressed when you're working towards a goal, making progress, getting things done, and pushing forward. And your feminine side gets expressed when you move with the flow. Embrace your creative energy, dance, play, and being attuned to your internal process. Now, one thing that I want to do is read to you guys. If you guys don't have a deck, when I put my energy over the cards and I split them up and I ask the deck a question, I pull one to answer the question, I pull another to see where I am in life, and I pull another one to kind of answer those two questions. Kind of a clarifier is what I call it. So she over here doing not i was gonna say voodoo but this ain't voodoo she over there uh yeah 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 she doing that it start with a t you don't want you don't want to see me say it okay but uh yeah is she over there doing that stuff you know how people read your palm of your hand and they tell you stuff is she doing that to herself mm -mm. that ain't safe i just talked to god and then i listen and then sometimes God don't answer right then and there, but he showed me. Like, he might show me in other ways. And I'd be like, oh, I see you. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know about, you know, talking to no cards, flipping cards. Because sometimes, you know, you can get a bad deck of cards. And then you'd be stuck with just dealing with the cards that you dealt. So I happen to pull the divine feminine a lot. Let's read divine masculine first. Divine masculine. I'm going to change these pronouns in here. The divine masculine is the embodiment of logic direct action and strength in their most
Evolved. Evolved aspect. They represent the builder, protector, and the guardian. Drawing this card can symbolize that divine masculine energy is needed to balance your current situation. It can also represent father, brother, healing, and healing of relationships with the divine masculine in your life. And the symbol that they use, a pagan. Symbol for the masculine energies and the elements. They are the consort of the triple goddess. On to divine feminine. The divine feminine is receptive, creative, empathetic, and emotional. In their highest aspect, they represent collaboration, nurturing, sharing, birthing, inclusiveness, and vulnerability in perfect harmony with the world around them. Divine feminine energy is required for your current situation or relationship to thrive. This card can also represent mother, sister relationships, and the powerful relationships with women. The pagan symbol for maiden, mother, crone. Now, the other reason why I brought this up is because when I was kind of going through a lot with my emotions, which I'm going to talk about in a video coming up, I kept getting this divine feminine. And when I really started doing research on it, it was like, you might have to do some work with your mother. And I literally was going through that. And it's like getting over all these things that we went through when we were younger so that I can be in a better place now. Because when you just kind of push things back and don't deal with them right away, they're going to come back eventually. You don't like God talking to me right now. You know what I'm saying? don't actually work through those things you just literally hide it put a band-aid over it put a mask on and you're not actually stepping into that new person that you want to be that is over that and healed from that and grown from that so working through those issues with my mom and then hearing people talk about my feminine energy made me actually embrace it more you know i'm cool you feel me i'm a woman of masculine center with some feminine energy yes. anyways <laughs> i want to know what you guys think in the comments below i love you guys so much and i'll see you soon Peace. See? See? See him not my Amber Closet always gets a thumbs up from me because she just a different type of breed, okay? She need to have her own talk show. Like she's the new Ellen. The new Ooh, please replace Wendy Williams. Oh my god. If she could replace Wendy Williams, of course she don't do Wendy Williams things. She's like Wendy Williams in heaven. Okay? Cause not to say that this Wendy Williams is, is in hell, but she give people hell sometimes but uh, i definitely enjoyed this content i hope that you guys did too please comment down below my video and let me know if you're a masculine woman or if you're a feminine woman maybe you got a little bit of both and what do you like you know what i'm saying do you like your woman to be masculine feminine whatever the case may be let me know down in the comments because you know i'm gonna comment back make sure you like this video comment down below like i just said share this video and subscribe to my channel make sure your bell is turned on you guys i love and appreciate you forever and always Please be safe, stay clean, be blessed, have a great day. I love you. Mwah. Signing out to this video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm a different breed. It. Catch you slipping, best belief. I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my ho. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> J vibes. You know the vibes. You know the fuck going on. And I'm at this bitch.